Hello, everybody! Oh my gosh, I sounded like Mrs. Doubtfire then, right? Hello everyone and welcome back to The Average. Today we are going to find out what watercolour dots are. You probably already know because I'm always really slow on the uptake. I ordered these from Iluili Watercolours, you can see it there. And I will link her shop down below. She's an independent uh, shop on Etsy so it's kind of cool. Let me show you what they are. Basically she makes her own watercolours. I'm assuming it's a woman. Um, they make their own watercolours and they give you little tester things and you can order these and try them out before you buy them. So these are the amazing ones that I've ordered and they're these pearl colour shift watercolours and they look amazing! They look so cool! We're going to try them today! But I really wanted to try them out and I also wanted to find out what colour dots are because I've never really tried these so I, I want to know if they're worth it. Let's get to it! Was that too enthusiastic or was it just the right amount of enthusiasm? Oh also guys today we're going to be revealing the winners of the book cover competition. Let's find out who the winners are at the end of the video. Okay let's get into doing this. I began by sketching out an image that I wanted to draw. This is kind of that basic um, Pinterest pretty girl drawing but I really thought that it would look really nice with these paints. I say basic girl drawing but I really like drawing these uh, images of just pretty women. I don't know why so I don't I'm not hating on it I'm just saying what it is and yeah with her like crying these colors I thought that would be really cool I wanted to play around with her wearing lots of colorful imagery so maybe lots of like silk dress and robes and different things and then a crown on top. I wanted to play with doing flowers in the background but I think I don't go in that direction in the end. So when I first started out swatching these colours I was really excited because for some reason I thought they were going to be really opaque and then I realised not so much. They are more of a colour to put on top of another watercolour I think that's when they work really well. It took me a little bit of a, a moment to get used to the consistency with them and what worked best. As you can see I used this number 23 I think it is and oh no no 22 and it comes out a little bit brown and then the shimmer of the blue comes through because it's like a purpley blue and you can see that where I've laid it down thicker on the eyeshadow, that's where the blue shine is coming through. I realised that to get this thicker consistency you have to really like work the brush over the, the little dot for a while to kind of build up the pigment on the brush and that really helped me out once I started to get the hang of the paints because I realised okay they just need a little bit of a, a, a work, a little bit of work to um, activate them so that helped me enormously I do regret not putting down like a layer of different like normal coloured um, watercolour to begin with because you can see as I go on I do dip into my actual watercolour pan. I think that these work really well to be something that goes over the top of normal watercolours because they shimmer really beautifully and they're very thin and very see-through but that was okay in the end because I felt like once I figured out the consistency I figured out that it would work with just using these colours by themselves and I really really like them. At first they don't look like much, I mean when I first started doing this I realised I was like a little bit disappointed to be honest but then as I kept using them and getting the hang of them I realised that they are really beautiful and they work really nicely and you will see as it goes on how beautiful the pigments actually look once I've actually layered them correctly and used them correctly. They are stunning and I, I really like the fact that it was somebody, you know, it's somebody's independent business that has made this a small business and I think that's really cool to support small businesses especially at this time. So you can see now I've um, thickened up that number 28, the, the kind of purpley um, orange sheen one. It looks really nice and it is really shining under my lights at the moment. All the blues and pinks. I think it looks beautiful and radiant. 
and I will definitely be using these dot carts in the future. I never heard of them before, honestly. I think probably most people have heard of them and have used them in the past, but I have never never seen these and I think they're a really good idea for testing out watercolours, especially if you if you've never tried watercolours before, maybe it's a cool idea to just get a few tester packs like this and then you can see if you like using watercolours or not before you commit to buying a big packet of them. For these watercolours, I did really enjoy using them, so I think I will be buying some more from this shop and shopping around more on Etsy for homemade watercolours because it just gives you a little bit of interest and a little bit of a little bit of difference from the normal stuff that you would go for, like the generic brands that you find everywhere. It gives you a little bit of variety and I think it's it's really exciting to come across something different. So I really enjoyed using these. I found them really exciting and expressive and I just, I love the colour shifting dynamic of it. The whole pearl colour shift is really interesting and I think it looks beautiful in the end. You will see when I give you a little bit of a, uh, a chance to see it when I flip the page, you will see how bright and beautiful these paints really are. At first I was thinking, oh no, what have I done? I think these don't really work that well. And then once I got the hang of them, beautiful, really like them. And about the image, like I said, there's not much to it other than just a beautiful girl and the chance to use these beautiful paints. So there isn't much thought process behind this other than just trying to find a reason to use shimmers and stuff like that. Because I don't, I don't tend to use a lot of shimmers, I guess, in my artwork. I mean, I use a gold pen every now and again, but I think I haven't used shimmers in ages and I think these are really good. I think a good comparison would be, you know, those Kansai watercolours that are like the shimmer gold ones. Those are quite nice, but I think these are actually better than those. So if you're thinking about buying them and can't find them anywhere, then I would give these a go because they're really pretty and they have that colour shifting effect, which I've never seen in watercolours before, which is really interesting because you layer down one colour and then as you lift the page or you turn slightly, it shines a different colour and I think that's really nice. It adds a totally different dimension to your art and I really enjoyed it. I really liked playing around with these and I think they're such a cool concept. Everyone else who's seen these watercolour dot sheets before are probably like, yeah, duh, Steph. <laughs> but I'm going to buy more of these, I think, because they're just really fun to play around with and just have them here next to me. And I'm going to add like some sparkly stuff to previous works that I've done now and just mess around with them in my sketchbook because I think they're just so much fun. I go in with this Molotow acrylic marker pen because I felt like the blacks needed to pop out a little bit more than they did before I did the watercolours over them. And I think this really adds something to the drawing. Um, it's not perfect, but then again, this is just an experiment to play with the watercolours. I think I would have preferred to have a lineless um, sort of image here. So I do regret even inking anything in the first place, but this is the style that I went with and I just had to keep going with it because I've committed at this point so I kept going with this thick black line and I do like it I just if you look at the top bit with her crown and I just really like the textures of those so I wish I had just left that alone instead of messing with the black and I don't know it kind of flattens it a bit for me and yeah I think I think it still looks cool I add the white Molotov pen and that's the final thing that I do to this painting so I think I'm going to call it for this one because I can see that I'm getting into the realms of working too much on it or like overworking it. It's fun for a little quick like sketchbook drawing I think. I really like the paint. Look at that. That's so cool. I love the pearlescent shimmer to it. It's really pretty. I think I got the hang of it in the end as well, slowly. And yeah, you can see which ones I like the most by, I guess, the swatches you can see that I've massively used those ones and uh, I think these are really cool and I think I might get some you know now that I've tested them out I might get some big versions of them although I think this is quite a lot so I think a little goes a long way with these shimmers right so let's get down to the winners of the book competition and I'm super excited to announce these 
First of all, I'd like to thank Artex for kindly giving all these prizes away. There wouldn't be a competition without them, so I would love to thank them again. They've been awesome, and I will put their website down below for anyone interested. But don't forget, anybody who entered this competition will get 10% off their Amazon store, so be in contact with me. So there's going to be five winners overall, and what I'm going to do is say them and pop them up on the screen. And the first winner for me is this book version of Coraline by Paula Borossio and I just really like the the style of this I think it's really interesting I like the composition I like the way it looks just the depth of it but also the flatness I like that style of illustration I think it's really cool and it sends a direct message and it makes me want to pick up the book the next winner is Beautiful Lie by Maria Arts. I really adore the way that um, she's used stitching in this. I think that's a really clever idea. I've never seen somebody do that before and I think the faces are really well painted and it just looks very beautiful and serene and I think that is a really cool thing. The next winner is Paige Bailey art for this massive crowd scene with all these people and I really like the way that you've used colour here to highlight the main character obviously in Salt to the Sea and I just think that's a really cool idea just drawing a crowd of people is very difficult especially at that perspective so kudos for you. The fourth winner for me is going to be this Assassin's Quest by Lucy Art and I just I really adore the way that you've drawn this little dragon I think that's really pretty and it's like a different style from the other winners so I wanted to mix them up a lot and I think this is a really nice beautiful picture I think you've done a really good composition and drawn a dragon which I think is a really hard thing to draw so the fifth and final winner of the main prizes goes to the Julied art with Wilder Girls because I really like the idea of this paper art on top of a book and you even open it and it, it does something as you open it. I think that's a really clever mechanic and I think that's just a really nice example of exploring something and doing something completely different. Now, of course, um, there are also 10 runners up who will get surprise gifts. So they are Raoul Padu with this interesting paper art piece with lots of different stuff going on. This one by Eliza Art. She did a few different versions, I think, of these three books. And I think this is a really cool example of another crowd of people. And I think a lot of effort went into this and I really like it. Emily K Art with this treehouse face and castle. I think that's really cool for Jane Eyre book cover. This Sherlock Holmes cover by Marina DiFranco. I think that one's really pretty with the colours and the line work especially is pretty. This Little Fires Everywhere which is really expressive and beautiful with the lighting by Abu Lu. This Upside to Unrequited Love by Sketchbook Musings I think is really nice. I like the composition and layout and the idea. This book cover of Carry On by Rats in Pants. <laughs> I like your username. I really like the characters of this and the colour usage and the like the geo, geo... What do I mean? And the shapes used in the background. I think that's really cool. This Anna Falai art of Into the Deep into the drowning deep sorry I really like the perspective of this and I really like the idea of being at the bottom of the ocean looking up at the light and all the fish swimming up by me Strange the Dreamer uh, by a failed artist I think is really nice the really good portrait work and the butterflies I think is a very beautiful take on the book cover and finally this version of How to Train Your Dragon by Kelly McCarville I think that's a really cool character illustration and I like the way that the book looks with the teeth coming through over the top to show the writing. I think it's really cool. And there's so many other amazing pieces. I just, it was so difficult to choose so I hope that you're not disappointed. I really had a tough time picking and I really wanted to 
just express my gratitude for everyone who's taken part. I hope that you enjoyed doing the competition and taking part anyway, even if you didn't win. Everybody who's taken part will get a 10% discount from Artex uh, on Amazon. And what you have to do is just DM me and I will send you the link from them with the code and then you can have 10% off. So everybody is sort of a winner. Um, I hope you guys aren't disappointed and thank you so much to the winners. I will be in contact with you soon. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the competition. Thanks so much, everybody. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe for more content and I'll see you next time. Hopefully, please come back. Okay. Bye guys! I would also like to thank my patrons for their awesome support and if you guys want to join in on Patreon we're reading a new book this month and we're going to create art together and pick a book together to read and the patrons who are getting a shout out are Devon, Ace Tubulum, Jacqueline, Steph, Eva, Lucille, Erica, Megaya, Tim and Charlotte and Alex. Thanks so guys. Thanks so guys. Thanks so much for watching guys and uh, see you next time.